the time of the Anglo-Boer War and the cemetery of the concentration camp at Batuli, which seems to be populated by many sad ghosts. This garden of remembrance to the thousands of Boer women and children who died in the Batuli concentration camp brings to mind the words of Emily Hobhouse, who wrote about the terrible suffering in these camps. There was nothing to be done, and we watched the child draw its last breath in reverent silence. The mother neither moved nor wept. It was her only child. Dry-eyed but deathly white, she stood there motionless, looking not at the child, but far, far away into the depths of grief beyond all tears. Emily Hobhouse is a name that cropped up again at Philippolis. Emily Hobhouse is very famous in the Free State. In fact, there's a town named after her. This woman was an English woman. She felt great compassion for the women and children in the concentration camps during the Anglo-Boer War. And she came out here after the war to help the Boer women and children get back on their feet again. How she did this was she set up a spinning and weaving school and the Boer women made mats and lovely blankets and eventually they started making lace work. These wares were exported even internationally and this truly helped them back on their feet again.